What's the number now, Paul? We're at 50, dear. Okay, 50 turtles so far rescued at Overfelt. Yeah. We're still doing the count. There's a lot more to go. So back home now we have several turtles which were picked up today. Um, Saturday, October 18th, we picked up 62 more turtles. It's very hard to clean them off because some of them have a lot of dirt on their bodies, layers and layers of algae, and while that may be completely harmless, it just prevents us from identifying any injuries which need to be addressed. I have several full-grown male turtles here. Some of these were picked up last week. They're used to the situation. They're very comfortable in the balcony. They can take care of themselves. We have several females who are the size of dinner plates, like this individual here. And we have several juveniles. And I separated them out by size and gender. Tried my best to give them as much room as possible, but we are now completely overwhelmed. Uh, the females in this pond are all almost all full grown and some are the size of dinner plates. They're very sweet by the way, the females. Some more juveniles in a smaller pond and last few here. So 62 more were picked up today at Overfield Gardens Park Ponds. Okay. This is a temporary setup. I don't recommend anyone keeping their turtles like this for extended an extended amount of time. I hope and pray that we will find permanent housing for them very soon and we can post some great news. This is a very small balcony. Yeah, all the plants need plenty of attention but I haven't had time to clean them up. It's a temporary turtle habitat during the day hours. I use a, a, um, an American made under the bed tote bin which comes with the lid. It's an automatic ramp so the turtles can enter and exit easily. The balcony comes with a shaded area so if they get too hot they can go under the table and they're completely protected. I kept the leaves here so that you know they can at least have something to make them feel as though they're closer to their natural surroundings. There are plenty of hiding spots. I have found several basking and hanging out on their own. They're very comfortable out here, but I would not be able to put all 20 out here because, yeah, the balcony is too small, even though it's a very safe balcony. And I always bring them in in the early evening so they are not going to be attacked by predators.